What's the word, y'all? Damian Lillard just dropped 71 points. And it wasn't against my favorite team this time around. Listen, the All-Star game was bunts. We all know that. Jay LeBron was saying this. Shea was saying that. Mike Malone was saying that. It was bunts. But all of the hoops after the All-Star break, every single night, has been elite-level hoops. I hope y'all realizing what is going on right now because, honestly, a lot of these games are mattering. Like, I genuinely know people that keep up with the game of basketball but don't actually start watching games until post-All-Star break because, again, it's 20 or so games. We not now trying to figure out, oh, if we win this one, we're not a 6 seed. If we lose this one, we're the 8 seed. Like, you know, these games matter more than anything. Of course, technically, the games in October matter, but the stakes aren't extremely high. And every single day from this point on, the stakes are getting higher and higher and higher. Dame dropped 71 points today. Obviously, that is the headliner. But let me let me walk you through everything else that happened in the association to just let you know how ridiculous we have it as NBA watchers. First of all, the first game of the day for me started at noon. So noon, I sat down in this chair and geared up to watch Devin Booker versus Drew Holiday, and it did not disappoint. No KD, obviously, no Giannis. He's still out with his injury. Drew Holiday, an all-star caliber performance. He making people fall. He hit big-time shots. Brooke Lopez continues to show me why he deserves not just to be in the conversations, but for me, as of right now, February 27th, as things are changing, he he is my DPOY. We can talk about that in the, in the further video, but... That was the first game of the day. Second game of the day, the Brooklyn Nets were down by 18, brought it all the way back, but Trey Young called game and hit the game-winning shot. The Lakers became the first team this season to be down by 27 points and win. They, like, the graphic that popped up was like 0 oh, and 128 or something like that. The Lakers came back all the way down 27 points to win a basketball game. And again, they're the 13th seed. They need every win they can get. And this is an important one. Clay Thompson is sneakily having some crazy, crazy months. Um, I made a tweet. He's averaging like 26 and a half points per game over the last 20 games, shooting 45% from three on 12 and a half attempts, and they beat a Minnesota Timberwolves team. And then Jokic just had a 40-point triple-double in a game that went to overtime. The, the last couple nights that we've had uh, primetime TV NBA games, we saw Joel B throw up a shot at the end of the buzzer that did not count. That was a full court. And it, it went in, and it didn't count. And then Paul George just hit the same thing like we are getting some crazy hoops and i just mentioned all of that from 12 o'clock noon to 12 11 midnight is where i'm recording 12 straight hours of hoops and not a bad game like it doesn't even make sense but again none of that matters because of damian lillard dropping 71 points this season we've had two different people hit 70 there's only eight players in history to do it and two of them happened this year again yes we got a sport a scoring boost yes there's inflated numbers but that shouldn't take away from the fact that these boys are having ridiculous performances and dame did it in regulation that's not taken away from donovan mitchell either dame did it in regulation and he was gunning for more too there's a couple shots at the close to the end of the game last minute and a half where he had all backboard you know he wanted it he didn't only just want the 71 he wanted to Blake break clay thompson's most recent in the same game you knew he was going for it obviously he didn't get that but but what a crazy performance i was not watching this game live because i'm be honest with you i saw the houston rockets and i have no interest at all to watch the houston rockets play basketball it's it's a it's a it's a mess it's not very fun so i wasn't watching but then i got a notification it was like two and a half minutes until the second quarter it said damian lillard 20 points i'm like oh we about to have a game. Now, I didn't think it was going to be 71. I didn't think it was going to be 71. But I, I was like, you know what? I cannot tune in too late for another day performance. Because last time he had a 60-piece, I, I came in so late. I think I came into the fourth quarter. Then I had to rewatch the game. So from point 21 to 71, I'm locked in, y'all. I'm locked in. I'm seeing everything. Shots off screens. They they going under. He's shooting over. I, the defensive scheme for the Houston. The, 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 we, gonna talk, we don't have to talk about the Rockets. It's not about them. Game Lulu is ridiculous. That's what this is about. And, you know, the, the unfortunate part of a game like this for Damian Lillard as far as narratives and talk I've been seeing on Twitter since this has happened is like, yeah, 70 point is crazy, but it don't mean nothing because he's a trailblazer and they may, may not make the playoffs. You see the hat? You know the mantra. Enjoy the damn game, man. Enjoy the game. Listen. Every I know I, I'm already knowing I'm already knowing what the TV gonna be talking about tomorrow morning. I'm already knowing that that some of y'all favorite creators, no disrespect, are gonna have a conversation about Dame and man. Imagine if he was on this team. This we should just accept the fact that this is who he is. This is where he wants to be, and just be just be cool with it. Because at the end of the day, he's still giving us crazy performances. Like yeah, you might want to see him win a ring. He might not. He's probably not gonna get it in, in Portland. But still, he is the he he, he is the all time leading scorer. 
going down in history as the greatest player to ever lace it up for their organization. I think that's fine. People have this idea that, that players can only be one team guys as long as they got that jewelry. Tim Ducky got a lot of jewelry. Dirk got a lot of jewelry. Kobe got a lot of jewelry. We praise these dudes, and they, we should because they're all type of like, like those are top five, or top 10 to top 15 to 20 players in history. Like, for sure, we praise those players. But a guy like Damian Lillard, who the league also voted to be one of the 76 greatest players in the game of basketball, he may never get a ring, but that shouldn't take away from the fact that this man is a bona fide Hooper Hall of Famer talent. It always is funny, though, when, when we do get Damian Lillard quotes of him talking about his time in Portland and how he wants to get it. I think the most recent one happened this week, actually. He was saying that, all oh, y'all better hope we don't get one in Portland. And I think the number one comment I saw under that tweet is, don't worry, Dame, we're not, we not really worried about it. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, but, but this, is, this is the type of thing that Dame is able to do. He's, he's 32 years old, and I always had this conversation. I've mentioned this on the channel a ton of different times, that progression is not linear, right? And that's why I always tell people if a, a person going into year two don't look like 10 times better than they did at year number one, don't believe that they're a bust or they're not going to get better throughout the course of their career because it doesn't happen like the game of 2K. You, you don't go into the offseason automatically. You jump up three overalls. It's not, that's not the reality. And the, the same thing goes for the opposite, opposite side. Dame Miller is 32 years old, and a lot of people believe that since Dame is 32 years old, well, here's that start to decline. And eventually, yes, he's going to decline because Father Time is undefeated against every single person. But it's not happening now. I, you can argue that this is, this stretch, this season is the best season of Damian Lillard's career. And he's 32. Like, come on, bro. This is some admirable stuff. I also realized that my shirt has been freaking out this whole video, and I hope that hasn't distracted you. Rest in peace to Cole. Um, I think it's completely okay to have players that are going to be one-team guys, even if that means that they never make an NBA Finals. He's been to the Conference Finals. He's had some of the best playoff moments ever, hitting two shots to end series. Don't forget, it happened twice. He's done that in his career. Like, yeah, you would, sure, we'd love to see it on the highest of highest stages, but I think it's okay if he never gets there. Would I rather see him as a, as a spectator of Damian Lillard? Would I rather see him drop 70 on a random night in February on a lackluster team or see him team up with somebody where he only getting 26 points? Uh, I think I'd take the 70. Anyway, I just think it's some weird, nasty discourse going on revolving around this game specifically, and, and, and none of this existed a couple months ago when Donovan Mitchell dropped 71 as well, the entire timeline about Donovan Mitchell 71 was how great it was. Except for the couple Bulls fans that was upset with the free throws and the, and the, the terrible officiating, which I understand. But again, it happened against my favorite team, but I admired it because 71 is 71. It's just because Dame is older and he's on this team that isn't very good, it, the, the conversation's different than... Dame is a goddamn monster, and I think that's what the conversation should be. He shot 58% from the field, 60% from three in a game where he dropped 70, 100% from the free throw line. He had 71 points. Um, and, and people are saying, it's, well, it's against the Houston Rockets, but the Houston Rockets have played a total of 60 games in a year so far. No, 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 nobody has got 70 other than, than Dame right now. So, yes, yeah, it's against the Houston Rockets, but he just had the biggest game against them. You know, I, it's, it's weird. I mean, sure, would it be better if he did it against the number one defense since January 4th, the Chicago Bulls? Sure. Donovan Mitchell, damn. Donovan Mitchell did that, didn't he? <laughs> Donovan Mitchell did that, didn't he? I think the stat that I saw about the Bulls and how great their defense was started the day after Donovan dropped 70. Since that moment, the Bulls have been lights out, which is crazy. And they can't shoot either. When, I'm, when I say the Bulls have been lights out, I mean strictly on the defensive side. Um, but, yeah, looking at Houston, uh, uh, this is from the NBA Central. Dame had 71 points. Luka had a 50-point game, 49-point game for Larry Mark, and then 49-point game for Ja, 48-point game from LeBron, 44 from Giannis and Anthony Edwards and Trey Young. Shea had 42. Clay had a 42 and a 41. <laughs> and Clay getting them stats back up. It's strictly going against the Houston Rockets. Devin Booker had 41 and Tyler Hero had 41. All of that is against the Houston Rockets because, well, they go out there and say, hey, we doing this strictly off vibes, y'all. We ain't got no defensive scheme. We're not going to make no changes on the guy that had 41 points going into halftime. We're not going to try to change nothing. And then what blew my mind is he has 63, and now they try to deny ball. Just let him do the rest. He already there. <laughs> He's already there. Now we starting to deny ball. Shouldn't we have done that? And we had 20 in the first quarter? I don't know, bro. I don't know, man. Anyway, shout out to Dave, man. What a, what a ridiculous performance. Got nothing but love for you.